Super Retro Rallycross time here at Mondello Park. For round three of their championship within the British Rallycross Five Nations Trophy. On pole position, we've got Charlie French, David Crockett in second, Stuart Emery is in third, Alan Tapscott in fourth, and Pat Doran is in fifth position. We're about to go racing here. Oh, no, that's not a good start. Stuart Emery has false started here. That will be a penalty. That looks like we're going to have another restart. He'll reverse back into position. And that is not the way to kick off the Super Retro Final. Let's try again then, ladies and gentlemen. It's Super Retro time. And we've got Charlie French and David Crockett on the front row. Then we've got Alan Tapscott, Stuart Emery and Pat Doran out there ready to indeed race. Wait for those green lights to appear before we kick off the Super Retro Final. And we are off and we are running. And it's a phenomenal start there from your pole sitter, Charlie French. But look at Pat Doran. Pat Doran in that Ford Esco has absolutely flown down towards turn number one. Oh, he just got into the side there of David Crockett. And they are side by side, running down towards turn number two. And which driver decides to back out? But well, it's actually Pat Doran who decides to give it up. Oh, it's gone from bad to worse though for Emery. Emery in the Volvo, runs deep through turn number two and unfortunately he is going to drop to the back of the order race lead though for charlie french or oh, in that martin chance replica livery built by that tuesday night rally cross team is leading out the way got the voxel chevette then in second position there pat doran four time british rally cross champion in that third position and alan tapscott a little bit further back he's actually from my neck of the woods from the Devon area, travels every race weekend from Devon. So here we are then, on to lap number two, and it's still being held then by Charlie French. The lead being held by Charlie French, but David Crockett is keeping him so, so honest. Nothing to choose between these two as it stands. It's the first start of the year here, by the way, for uh, our second position here, David Crockett, looking to try and start off the best way possible with a race victory but at the moment Charlie French is holding firm Pat Doran though he's in a position to take full advantage of these two do indeed get involved with Tapscott there a little bit of over rotation in the background but is he giving it all the beans he absolutely is pushing as best he possibly can I love to see it as Pat Doran comes through of course there is Alan Tapscott I get to see Stuart Emery again wondering whether it might be a DNF for Emery as we come then round turn number two heading down towards his final couple of goals. And well, there's your uh, questions answered. Stuart Emery is going. The uh, Volvo 242 is still running around. I'd love to see that. Charlie French now with a little bit of a gap to work with. Uh, so yeah, looking pretty good. All it's going to take now really is a mistake for David Crockett to get back involved. Because it looks like Charlie French has got the genuine pace to go out there and win this race. Round turn number one, we will go. Get both cars pushing it to the limit as if it was in their heyday. We'd love to see this. Number 42 is going to sweep it round turn two. And now it's the long run down towards Castrol and Dunlop at this Mondello Park circuit. The short variant of this circuit, very moist there at the back end of the track. And the Chevette just catching up ever so slightly here. So David Crockett maybe, maybe sees an outside chance of going out there and winning this super retro race. This race garners so much attention on YouTube. Shout out to all of the viewers who are watching this on YouTube. The view numbers are massive. Oh, and there's a huge mistake. Big mistake there. That might handy lead there to David Crockett. Door completely slammed. It's going to be a big lockup though through turn number two. And can the Chevette go through? He can. David Crockett takes advantage of the two mistakes. You can see the misfiring in behind as well. As we head now down towards the final two corners, the Vauxhall Chevette of David Crockett was in P2 for the entirety of this race. Can you hang on for one more corner and take the most unlikeliest of victories? First outing of the season for David Crockett and it's going to be a race victory. Oh, congratulations to him. Charlie French is going to be furious. Pat Doran will take a podium spot. And it will be Alan Tapscott who will take fourth position. And Emery is a little bit further back in the Volvo who will take that fifth spot. And there you have it on camera. There is the Volvo. And what an interesting race that was. Oh. Super Retros never fail to amaze. Crockett with the race win.